Come on, let's praise God. Feet went on me, 
and wherefore that I say unto thee, I heard sin that which are many are forgiven, for she loved much, but to whom that love is forgiven, the same love is love. And, if, and he said unto her, Thou sins <laughs> are forgiven. And they that sat that had meet that with him began to say within themselves, Who is this that forgiveth sins also? And he said to the woman, Thy face hath saved thee. Go in peace. Amen. Let me use for a such a today. Everybody needs love. All right. That's all right. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody, I'm going to say, needs love somewhere, somewhere down the line. Lord, we thank you today. We thank you, Lord, for the word, Master. We thank you, God, that you live. Not only you live, but you live on the inside of us. So we thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit. Our Holy Spirit determined that whether we are saved or not. We thank you for your spirit that's assuring us, Lord, that we are your children's master. We thank you, Lord, today, Master, for every soul that is here, Master. But Lord, we ask you to enrich their minds today, Master. And I have to say, Lord, to open the ears, Lord, to receive the word from Almighty Divine God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Love is a is, is something that is deep and tender feeling, and it is a compassion. It, it's something that is is warm, it's something that is kind, and it's something that is beautiful. Uh, love brings good attitudes, and sometimes love brings good looks, or good smiles, and, and love even tastes good. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying, huh? So love is a key part of all of our life. If we're going to teach the world something, let's learn to teach them about L-O-V-E, mm -hmm. love. Uh, if we're going to teach our people something that for a while we have worked learn to teach them about love. Uh, yeah. If we're going to teach our children about anything, let's learn to teach them about love yeah. and loving yeah. one another. Now, I think it's a time now that it's a key time now for us to bring this word love because sometimes there's no love around you. You know, a lot of times people though, is going through some difficult time and they want the day. Do someone still loves me? Huh? And even sometimes it's either in a situation, even through the spouses, that they still want to do my husband still love me? Or do my wife still love me? Did anybody ever go through that? Do they still really love me? I, I'm not looking for no false love. I'm I'm looking for some true love. It's about really this to hold it and put some really this to buy somebody that prayed for my soul. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Somebody that praying for somebody that I need a Woman that's going to intercede for me. I need a man that maybe said that's going to intercede for me. We need to work together as one, not, not, not out, of our, out of the vision, but as one. Can I find somebody in this world and reach out and touch you and tell you, baby, I truly, really, y'all come talk, I really love you. And so, everybody. Need somebody to love, and the kid need somebody to love. Even a dog wants something to love. And y'all don't hear what I'm saying, huh? The dog know when you care for him and don't care for him. Don't you know a human know when you care for him and don't care for him? Oh, y'all got to talk to me today. Woo! The Bible said, "Love <laughs> cover the multitudes of sin," huh? Love coming to mother to us again. Then it, when, when you love, you have to do our submitment. Yeah, uh -huh. Submitting is to get our surrender out to become armor towards one another. Uh -huh. God looking for somebody to submit. God looking for someone to be armor to him. God looking for somebody that he can use in his servant. God looking for somebody that he can put in love, set his approval in our, in our mind, and, and you can go and share with somebody around. God is looking for that today. You know, you 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 want to say God look for you got people in the church, but sometimes God have to go outside the church. Uh, Y'all don't want to hear this this morning, huh? Sometimes God have to go outside the church with somebody that look like he ain't or she ain't nobody. 
And God turned around, y'all don't hear that. And God turns around and work a miracle on that person. Then he said, well, I know what he used to do. I know what she used to do. But God knows what we all did. But God can take a, take a person that look like nothing and turn him into something. Huh? Yeah, he can turn him around, baby. If he turn you around, he can turn him around too. Yeah, don't tell me you ain't been there, you ain't been out there. Don't tell me you've been all good and good and good and all your life. Don't sit there and tell me because you have not from the poor pit clean back to the back. We had all did something wrong. Oh, y'all gonna talk to me. Woo! Huh. I'm just gonna be real with you. I ain't trying to I'm just gonna be real with you. God looking for some real love. Yeah. We can get mad with people that never forgive them. They said we love them so much. How come you can't forgive? God, oh, y'all didn't want to hear that this morning. Come on, all right. Uh, Pastor, you, you, you're hitting in some spots right there. <laughs> Woo! Glory, hallelujah. Yeah. This woman, Lord, have mercy. This woman didn't, 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 didn't know of Jesus, didn't know much about Jesus. She just heard of it. Uh -huh. hmm? yeah, uh -huh. yeah. She just heard of it. She had heard all the great things that Jesus had stopped by and he had done. Uh -huh. She had heard how he had spoke to demons and they came out. She heard all of this before she even came. She heard all of this. Yeah. She didn't know how to get to it because... She knew she had much pains and knows that she had a lot of sins. And I believe this woman cried before she ever came to Jesus. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I think she had, mother, I think she had rehearsed somewhere before she even came to Jesus. I think this woman had sat in the background and cried. Woo! Know how to share her tears. That sometimes in your life you gonna have to share them tears, and when it comes time to share them, you don't care who see you share. You gonna share them tears. There's some things in your life you don't care who see you. You gonna share the tears. Sometimes the Holy Spirit comes up home in the house and sit down and it. Tears just roll down my eyes. And y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And God's anointed be so strong. I, I can't even just sit there and just weep. Yeah. Woo! This woman didn't know nothing about Jesus. Yeah. No more than what she heard. Uh -huh. Because yet she had never been touched by him. Uh -huh. But she was fine. She's going to find a way to get to him. Yeah. When you need something in life. You're going to find some kind of way to get to it. Uh, you're going to find some kind of way. Jesus even went by and talked to the center soldier and <laughs> cast demons out of man. And this, is, this is what Jesus did. You know? And one day he came and said to all this Pharisee by the name uh, uh, of Sam. And Sam was sat down, an old good looking guy, sit down all custom made and his clothes look good from the top down to his feet. And yeah, he thought he was something very important. Huh? Yeah. But this Sam would have a lot of sins on his. He had sins, but yeah. he might not have admitted as he had. Uh -huh. <laughs> but this woman was only just she was a a a, a woman that uh that was out there. And this woman was out there, and I believe that she had practiced a whole lot yeah. uh, before she had got to Jesus. She, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to get too personal right now. <laughs> and I think this woman knew something about the church of a person. I'm going to say it like that. How about that? Huh? She knows the hard to hit to get to uh, Jesus. Uh, she knows the part to touch to get to a man. <laughs> Uh, but uh -huh. she she knew that because she had already did that in the world. Uh -huh. So, because she had a trade. Uh 
Yeah. Now, everybody may not agree with her trade that she had, but she had one out of the world. Yeah. Yeah. This woman had to make a living some kind of way, so she used herself, her body, uh -huh. in order to make a living with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I, I don't drag everybody because they're in that situation. You can be in that situation right now, and God can bring you out there today. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying, huh? Yeah. That, that's how good he is. He, you can be right there in it, and God can bring you right out of the day. What I love about Jesus, he meets you where you are. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. And when he meets you where you are, he's still going to yeah. ah, express his love, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I can love somebody. I, I may not like everything you said to me, but I still can love you. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I, I still can love you. You may say dirty things about it, but I still can love you. I know I can love you because it's in me. How can you love somebody that been spite for you? Call you everything except a child of God. And you turn right around. God will fix it right around when you have to go back and help that person that did you wrong. And when it did you wrong, they break down because they can't stand. You treat good. Y'all, I have seen this happen. I have seen living people putting it down. God turned around and whooped it right before my eyes. Woo! Love is a strong weapon. Oh, Y'all don't hear what I'm saying, huh? Love, love how how how, how cause people to 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 to, to destroy people because of love. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. The love, love have also brought people closer to God. Love have did that. Mm -hmm. I know I heard the song saying, well, I, I found love on a two-way street. Huh? I, I'm sorry to tell you, I didn't find it on a two-way street. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying, huh? Woo! Oh, I found love when God came to me. When I submitted myself. Lord, here I am. Here today, I, I, without a shot of a doubt, God come for me right now. I know I'm going to help. Uh -huh. That's the key thing. <laughs> I know that you're going to help. <laughs> now Jesus, when he came, when he came, I always said he do it. He do it in a spiritual way, <laughs> and he do it in, in, in a physical, and natural way. <laughs> and he had told them that was to two creditors. Uh, that was two, two, uh, he was the creditor, and that was a, a debt they had to pay, and then that was a debtor. Uh -huh. Now, the debt was the sins. Uh -huh. So, we had a creditor there that knows everybody's sin because yeah. that you had already dealt with y'all before. Uh -huh. <laughs> y'all hear what I'm saying? Uh -huh. There was a creditor, and then that was also a debtor who was, the debtor was his son. Uh -huh. yeah. So, we was in this creditor's debt. And one had judged the other and see what they're saying greater than the other. So one that do point, so you know, you know, uh, uh, he, 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 Simon, he was sitting back there. And I'm going to close here. And as he was sitting there, he was judging this woman. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Uh -huh. And no doubt he might have been with this woman himself. Uh -huh. If he knew yeah. what kind of woman this was, he would never let her come up and talk or touch him <laughs> if he knew what she was. Mm -hmm. But see, like Mr. Simon knew exactly what was going on with this woman. Mm -hmm. Simon already knew this woman, but that was in the, in the street there. Simon knew about this woman. But one day, I'm finna close in a few minutes. But one day, that same day, this woman found her way to Jesus. Yeah. And, 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 and they may have said that the devil is a snake. No. And no doubt this woman was full of demons. Yeah. And somewhere she slid in like a snake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She slid in like a snake. Yeah. Came around to the back way. Oh, y'all yeah. Because she knows that this man. Oh, y'all don't hear about Why would she come around the back? Look like she'd been doing that before she had Christ. I'm coming around the back way. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Now, I want her coming around the back way, but, but her clients, y'all got to talk to her. Coming around 
Oh, y'all gonna talk. Coming around the back way, huh? And so she knew how great Jesus were. Because she had so much respect for Jesus. She was a woman of the streets. She had more respect for Jesus than the one that's supposed to be already walking with Jesus. You know that God gave us all the same age of faith, didn't he? We have to have the faith to talk to be able to connect back to God. That's why he put it in every, every born person. That the born on is it's there in you. But you have to connect it back with God. Y'all can talk to me now. You have to connect it back to God. Because with that faith, it works it then, huh? But God give you faith so he can bring you to work. Y'all got to have God. He give you faith to bring you to work. Huh? So you can use work and all that. For he can serve it. For you can work for him. Y'all didn't hear me. Did nobody catch that thing? He bring you to a job. He took you from a job. That God didn't like what you were. But he's going to give you a better job. When you come to him. You see what I'm talking about? He took away the bad job. And he, y'all got to talk to me. Huh? This one. And I got to close this. She was looking for love. And she had been looking for love all <laughs> in the wrong place. This woman was hurt so bad down on the inside. And she had a bad gut feeling. <laughs> I wonder how this going to work out between me and Jesus. But when she slide through there, woo, God connected to her right there. <laughs> Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. But when, when, when she touched God, there was a connection with all. Because she came to God the right way. She touched him. God have mercy. And when God touched you, or you touched God, you would never ever, ever be the same. <laughs> you'll never be the same. If God touch you and fill you with it, you'll never be the same. The Bible said here, the Bible said the woman, and she turned and, 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 and the woman and said unto Sam, see that this woman, Jesus said, see this woman, came to you, Sam, and you didn't even wash my feet. Huh? Sam, if you didn't wash my feet, you had handmaidens there. They could have washed my feet, but you didn't even tell them to wash my feet. Huh? You could have got a red and towel and, 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 and you could have did that, but you didn't do that. Then. But this woman came to she would be doing a lot of crying for a long time. Any time for a person to be able to, to squeeze that much tears out of their eyes. Oh, y'all hear what I'm saying. And wash a man's feet. Y'all got to talk to me, huh? It, it looked like this woman had been rehearsing this for a while. If I could help <laughs> get close to Jesus. Look like I can see her right now. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Look like I can see her down. She weeping. She crying. Uh -huh. Woo! Yes, sir. Now she crying up. Her red began to have to get the stop. Yeah, yeah. Hair was long. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because it was a shelf. She could have never reach her feet. Uh -huh. Hair had been long. The Bible says she took her hat. The most precious things of a woman. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's her hair. Now a lot of times you let people mess and touch your hand, but don't you, don't you, don't you, don't 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 don't, don't you touch that hat. Uh-huh. Yeah. Don't touch the hat. But, but if the hat, if you yank too much, you're allowed to yank too much off. Yeah. And these times today, so you, you, you may not want to. This woman had a match hair. And she took the hair like a like a towel. And began to wash his feet. Uh -huh. But I got to warn you, uh, if it come down to my feet, <laughs> you better let me wash it myself. <laughs> 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 
But if you choose to do, you can just go, Wow, I know they were this bad. Yeah. I would never ask you, but she didn't even grumble. Mm -hmm. She know his speech was dirty. Uh -huh. She know that it was nasty. Uh -huh. She know they need to be washed. Yeah. Yeah. So she took her precious hat. Uh -huh. It didn't make this woman like she was low, but you had to go down. And all for God to bring you up. Yeah. She armored herself so low. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And somebody may say, that's as low as you can go. No, because we all right now today is at Jesus' feet. We just don't know that. Amen. Amen. He said, the earth is, is where his feet's at. Yeah. It's the earth is his voice too. We already at his feet and don't even know it. Because mm, 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 mm. the earth is his footstool. And this woman took her hair. And she did the most precious stuff an alabaster box of ornament. You know, women, y'all love y'all cologne, you know. And you're not going to use your best stuff, you know, unless she's really going out there to do something real good, you know. And you know, men like to do, but we ain't going to use our best stuff to go work in, you know what I mean. Uh, uh, but she brought her very best. How many is going to bring your very best to the Lord? God brought the best. What is your very best? You. Yeah. You are his very best. Yeah. You are the very best he got, and you just sometimes don't even see that you are the best. Amen. The Bible said the one that's in us is greater than the one that's yeah. in the world. Huh? Yeah. So we going to have greatness down on the inside. I know kids just graduated. That's some greatness on the inside to bring the right. to that's going to be some greatness on the inside of Kevin through God and get that degree. That's going to be some greatness on the inside. There's somebody love and send it that way. We Everybody needs some love somewhere. And sometimes if we find love all sometime in the wrong place, but if we ever get a hold to Jesus, I got to close it now. Yes, <laughs> Woo! Yes, he told Sam, so I came to have me. You didn't even anoint me, Sam. Uh -huh. You didn't even take your cheapest oil you had and anoint me with it. But this woman took her most pressure off. And she used it on me. Sam, you didn't do it. This woman came in and kissed my feet. You didn't even kiss me on the neck, uh, uh, Sam. And you supposed to be an important guy. <laughs> and you didn't even give me no kiss. Love. My time. Love and marriage. You know, it used to be an old song you said, Johnny Taylor used to sing it. It's cheaper to keep her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that's going to be. He said it's cheaper to keep her. You know, <laughs> I, I, I guess get the boys is very expensive. <laughs> and they say if you got good one and you love her, it's the best thing is to do it is to keep her. Love, sometimes it hurts sometimes. Yeah. Uh, love, uh, uh, sometimes it, 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 it gives us a, a, a different impression about ourselves. Yeah. Well, it's good to know that somebody cares and somebody loves you. Yeah. This woman know that she was a sinner and she was in debt. And Jesus showed that that, that was uh, uh, that was a debt to be paid, and, and that was a devil who is the sinner. And know that this sinner needed somebody. And he talked about these two people. One was Simon, and one was this one. Huh? Uh -huh. Now, this, this, this Simon may not have did as much as this one, but this woman did much more than Simon had did. That's why she figured that she would not be accepted by Jesus because she thought she had did too much sin that Jesus could not save her, huh? You know, I, I, I stopped to tell you, uh, that you can't do too much sin that God will not save you, huh? But if you come to him and believe in your heart, the Bible said, and confess with your mouth, the Bible said, thou shalt be saved. You got to believe that what God said. The Bible said, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, who's ever believed in him shall not perish, but have a everlasting life. Huh? Everlasting me has no end to it. Oh, awesome. God said, I'll give you eternal life. Yeah. My 
God, you can't beat that. Our eternal life. Mm -hmm. So everybody needs love. Yeah. There used to be a song that said, yes, Jesus loved me. <laughs> yeah. For the Bible tells me so. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, we used to sing that song all the time. You know, that's a song every child knew that song. I got the most of it. But that's a song that everybody knew that song. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, I, I pray the Lord, my soul to keep, you know. <laughs> you know <laughs> they did all that, yeah. And if I don't wait before the morning for pretty much over so to take. And so we, we was taught these things coming up. But we had never really practiced love like we should. Have. But now we are practicing love and love when we practice it came to be real, real love. When we practice this for Jesus. You know, we didn't know why we were practicing, but we were practicing to get close to Jesus. When everybody else done walked away from you. I stop to tell you, love will still be there. Amen. And Jesus Amen. will still uh, be there uh, for you. Yes. And when Jesus was there talking to Simon in this woman, uh -huh. and as he was talking, when, he, when, he, when, when this woman touched him, there came a change right there in her, in her mind. Uh -huh. And she figures that all these spirits in me, <laughs> Lord, that have been worrying me for years, and, and I know you can't take them out. Huh? God said, yes, I, I got a ribbon to that for you. Huh? Yeah. Somebody asked the question, are there anything too uh, hard for God? <laughs> There's nothing too hard for God. Yeah. Whatever we need for God, God sure got it. Yeah, he had it on the inside of him. Yeah. And Jesus, this this salmon had jurist this woman. Uh -huh. Because he thought that she was a, a, a woman of the world. And she was a woman of the world. Uh -huh. But he could see that she might get saved the same as he got saved. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. You know, some people pray a yeah, prayer, prayer, and, and, and the prayer is not a real prayer. But they just pray for Lord, Lord, just for I, just for me, Lord, nobody else. Lord, I'm better than she is. I'm better than he is over here. You see what I'm talking about? God don't want you to pray a separate prayer. But when you pray, <laughs> you ought to pray a prayer to love everybody. You ought to pray a prayer to love. And every time you, you bow down on your knees, and this woman taught Jesus, uh, and he changed you, you her. Uh, and then when I heard him say, Woman, <laughs> y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Say, Woman, thy face out has saved you. Yeah. So right there, if you say, Our face has saved her, that means God saved that woman right on the spot. He saved her right on the spot. That's how good God is. He met her just where she was. And she was weary. Yeah. As I close here today, I just want to leave something with you. Sometimes some people have made a misuse you, a mistreat you. But I won't stop and tell you, love will we'll always be there on your side. Yeah. And uh, whenever you need someone, uh, I stop and tell you, Jesus will be right there. Yeah. Sing like with everybody. Yeah. Now sing the love you. Now yeah. don't walk down on you. Yeah. But I stop by and tell you, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Now these love today. Yeah. Lord, sit down. Yeah. Now sit down, you love. Yeah. We need Jesus. Lord, we ever need him now. If we need Jesus, now, we shall sure need him now, now. I'm so glad now, that Jesus is still working now, down on the inside of me. Now. I'm so glad now, that I've been born again. Now. I'm so glad now, Jesus fell in love with me. Now, and I 